Hello my lovelies, welcome back. Just going to put a little bit of makeup on, some skincare. Um, my skin hasn't been great. It's actually, this is the best it's been in about a week. Went away um, for Craig's birthday. There'll be more of that in May favourites. Um, and it really wasn't great at all. It terribly flared. It was quite drying up here. Not good. Um, I had used some salicylic acid, which I think it just, sometimes my skin really reacts well to it and sometimes it doesn't but one thing i have found is cdb um products and um, this is the mgc derma hyaluronic and stem cell facial serum it responds really well to this kind of product now this is not the cheapest i think it's about 80 90 pounds it is pr but i noticed that holland and barrett have just brought out a range of cdb so like a cannabis based skincare and I've read a lot of people with rosacea and skin problems saying that this works with their skin again there's a lot of mm, doubt out there people saying no it makes no difference I have to say after a couple of uses this really did calm my skin so I'm using that the only thing I hate is the dispenser is absolutely rubbish look at it I mean it's just it you have to sort of pull it back up it's real for the cost of the product they really need to sort that out um but it's just a white creamy sort of lotion not what you when people say a serum I kind of expect a thicker oil to pop out but I just think yeah it's a disappointment if you're going to pay that amount and I know you're paying more for the product you really want the dispenser to be better than that so i found this really good i will certainly look at holland and barrett's range which i think their oil their serum was 20 quid 19 pounds 99 and they do it at facial moisturizer as well but they've currently got the buy one get one for a penny and i like their marula oil which again is 19 pounds 99 and i find that very good and i know people who've used the drunk elephant one and feel that the Holland and Barrett is equally as good. There's actually no difference other than the price, um, which is typical. I have gone back to this Superdrug Optimum Phyto Freeze. This is their instant anti wrinkle Swiss ice wine eye cream. You'll remember this, maybe you won't, but they sent me a PR of this and I was completely obsessed and I bought it then I used a couple of others then I got PR then I didn't because you know I don't really believe in eye creams but I believe in this one and the Emma Hardy one and I love it it comes with the metal applicator which I never use it just leaves your eyes feeling nice and cool and makes you think it's probably doing more than it actually is but it's a really nice far too much there you only need a grain of rice size but I found if you remember when I first used it, it was really good on my number 11s, my frown lines. But I love it. I really do. Because I notice I don't get the dehydration um, around my eyes when I use this. And it also doesn't cause any reaction or any drying areas, which I tend to get with a lot of eye creams. And you can use any excess, as with any eye cream, just pop it around the lip area as well. But I love that. I really think Superdrug, their skincare is damn good, I have to say. Right, I'm also using my favourite A Florence Hydration Booster Serum. This again is hyaluronic acid. Um, it's fragrance free, it's a pH level of 6. It's got vitamin C and niacinamide as well, which is very good for blemish prone skin. Because my skin has just been, I'm going to do the thing that everybody hates. Well, not everybody, but it's frowned upon. doesn't matter if it's your own face. And to me, you're not losing it into your hands um, by dropping it on your face. I just think it's all going where it should be. My skin has just been very sort of dehydrated, quite sensitive. It's really responded well to more moisture. And we went away for Craig's birthday. Did I tell you that? Maybe not. Or maybe I did, and I'll tell you more in the favourites. That's what I said. Um, but we went away for Craig's birthday, and I try and take as little as possible. I'm not a heavy packer, and I took the sort of basics, but I think my skin just needed a bit more hydration 
and richness. So I'm kind of layering the products and these layer very, very well with each other. Um, I never have a problem with them at all. And then I top it off with some of the A Florence Skin Rehab Rich, which they have altered slightly. So if you've had it previously and you know it absorbs really quickly and your skin's sort of matte, without being dry they've made it more emollient which is great it's very dewy but I don't feel my skin likes it as much as it liked the original when it came to the sort of rosacea um, aspect it really sort of helped my rosacea but I don't know but I love the texture of it I have got a new moisturizer coming up that I'll be sharing with you soon um, that I've heard a lot of positive things about, so you'll be seeing that. And then there's a moisturiser I'm thinking of going back to that I haven't used for quite a few years. Yeah, it's one of those moisturisers that I still recommend to people because it was outstanding. So that may be featuring soon, but I do love this, but it's certainly more emollient than it used to be. Right. I am going to pop on, I'm not putting any SPF on, um, purely because I'm not going anywhere. The one I have been trying out has been the Drunk Elephant. This is the SPF 30. Um, it does have a slight tint to it, nothing terrible, so don't be frightened, it doesn't change your colour. It's 20% zinc oxide, um, and yeah, it's been my skin's been fine with it. I like the consistency. You get a lot for your pennies, 60 mil. I really like that. And you've seen me using the SVR, which is for sensitive skin. This does have an SPF of 50. I do tend to lean towards the higher protection levels. Um, and then I've got the Lola BB cream, which has an SPF of 20. If you buy it currently online, you get a free sarong which looks very pretty um, and you could always use my discount code to get 10% off as well I should put that somewhere um, yes I find this works better for me mixing it because of my skin I do find that my rosacea still shows through but I like the consistency of it but it's very it's a bit like the Glossier skin tint but a little bit more coverage um, but that's good and it's got high hyaluronic acid again so you're getting your moisturization from your product Right, super duper. I'm going to put some Lemur on, I think. I've been makeup free for the last couple of days and it just feels a bit weird to be putting makeup on. I don't know why. Let's have a couple of pumps. And I've been doing a lot in the garden, which I've really enjoyed. I find it very therapeutic in the garden. I kind of understand now. When you're younger, you always think, oh, good, never going to do that. But as you get older, you sort of realise why people do it. And I understand now why my mum used to just like pottering in the garden. It it really does. It switches you off. It relaxes you. Um, it just takes me away from everything. And I can just focus on that. And I enjoy it. I am by no means a gardener. You know, I don't walk around giving the Latin names for everything. I don't follow the rules, I dig plants up when I'm not supposed to, I cut the grass when it's wet, um, all the things that they tell you not to do. But, you know, I'm pretty lucky and I work on the principle if it grows, keep doing what I'm doing and if it doesn't, well, it's my fault, it's as simple as that. But I'm very happy this year because any I bought last year has absolutely blossomed. To be fair, there's more green leaves than potential flowers, but she's looking very happy in her pot, so I'm very pleased about that. Um, when we went away, I th thought my hydrangea was going to be fine, because you've got to be careful with hydrangeas. Um, you don't put them in standing water, um, you don't overwater them. And when I came back, I thought, it's dead but I've really watered it well and it has come back. I adore hydrangeas, um, but I've got to be careful with it because the leaves and flowers are not great for dogs. So I have it up high on a table. It won't be planted into the garden and Craig doesn't like them. He hates, you know, you'll know hydrangeas, beautiful big flowers, but they, the sort of petals go quite brown and I like that sort of rusty brown effect that they have. He doesn't like it at all. Um, but I was pleased I managed to save her because I really, really love 
the hydrangea. There we go, Le Mer. A great foundation. I wouldn't buy it because it's so expensive, but I just wish I could find a similar colour and texture. Remember when I didn't like it when I first got it? It's amazing how you can change your mind. Um, I'm going to use some of the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination. I have now reviewed this on my blog. This was a PR sample. Um, you know I love the original, which conceals. This conceals, but it also illuminates. Um, and I, I don't know. I like it, you know, when you're tired and you just really want that pop of lift and wow and reflection. You get it. But I still love the original as well. It's kind of my favourite. But I do like this when you really do just want that beautiful awake. And I like to take it down as well because it does give beautiful light to dark areas. And I'm just going to press that in with the foundation brush. not doing anything too drastic today as I say because I'm not going anywhere just got a few more bits to sort out in the garden I've got a lobster pot that one of the fishermen passed on to Craig and I'm going to put it in my garden and I think I'm going to plant things in it I just need to line it and um, and do that Right, I'm going to use this. I took this with me um, when we went away because it basically does everything. It's the Becca Afterglow palette. I have no idea if this is still available, but Becca do generally have lots of great palettes out there. Um, it is a, it's the Shimmering Skin Perfector in three shades and then you get two shades of blusher, but I use them as eyeshadows as well. And you can see it's well used. There's a bit of everything in there and it's great to take away because you're not having to sort of take lots of different palettes and things. So I'm just going to use one of the blushes. This is the Wild Honey Mineral Blush. And I also could use that as my bronzer as well, just to warm the skin. The foundation I took with me was the NARS. Look at that. Oh, natural radiant longwear, which was nice, but I did feel it was probably a bit heavy for really what I wanted. Um, but anyway, I managed, it was fine. And one day I just used a bit of moisturizer just to soften it down a little bit. Just with a pencil brush, I'm going to use this um, Topaz Shimmering Skin Perfector in Topaz. I'm just going to take that under the eye, just to give a bit of golden shimmer. Very, very simple makeup today, as I said. Then I have the Lola Volume Mascara. So we went to Cornwall um, for a few days to cover Craig's birthday and just have a bit of a break because Craig's been working an awful lot. Um, and it's lovely. We took the scenic route. So you go across Dartmoor, which is absolutely beautiful. And you see all the ponies and everything. Um, and there's a lo lovely places to eat and stop. And there's a hotel that we really like to stop at. And it's all leather sofas and oh it's wonderful and the staff are always so lovely and really nice to Betty and the food's lovely and it's very popular with walkers because obviously you get a lot of people walking across Dartmoor and that kind of thing so we stopped off there and we headed to Port Isaac where we've been before but we've never actually stayed and those of you who are very up on it will know that Port Isaac is the place that they film Doc Martin and it's known as Port Wen. We stayed 
we stayed there and we arrived and Craig said, I'll just nip Betty down to the beach. Now it's a tiny little fishing village. You can literally walk around it in probably about, if you do the high street, it probably takes you about five minutes. So from the hotel we were staying at, it takes literally five minutes less to get to the beach. So Craig had gone to the beach, I was unpacking and he came back and had seen two cast members because they were actually filming. So those of you that are fans, he saw Bert and he thought he saw Caroline Katz, I think she's called, who plays Doc Martin's wife. But he didn't take any photographs. Um, but yes, it was lovely. It was lovely. But it wasn't too busy, which was nice. We've been as I say on days before where we literally once had to turn around because it was so horrendous and it was just jam packed um, but this it was really really pleasant really pleasant I'm just going to use some of the wild honey again as a bit of a bronzer so we stayed there um, we went to um, Rock which is directly opposite Padstow but it has a great sort of beach where you can take the dogs and it has sand dunes and things. So we, we did that. But we just basically relaxed and the hotel was great. The staff were fantastic. The food was really, really nice. The menu didn't do it justice because it looks sort of a standard menu. You know, it said burgers, fish and chips, that kind of thing. But oh my goodness, the food was absolutely beautiful so yes we had a lovely lovely time away it was really nice definitely go back and i'm going to use the blusher here which is called flower child one of my favorite colors i think it's beautiful um but yes there were lots of we met a lovely um american chap who his friend had bulldogs and he was really taken with Betty so we were chatting to him there were quite a lot of Americans there because they loved Doc Martin um, and they loved the area as well so we were chatting to him telling him where we were from which he was really interested in um, there were lots of walkers so people tend to stay one night and then go again um, but very very friendly people you know everybody's very chatty and just enjoying the area it's very respectful but high season, when they're filming, I can imagine it must be. Well, we've seen it. It's chaos. It really, really is. Um, but we were very, very lucky. Right, just some of the Glossier. This is Crush. It's the old packaging. They've repackaged them, which they needed to do because they were completely naff, as you know. For those of you that have followed me with these, yeah. There we go, sort of simple, straightforward. I can do it a lot quicker, um, obviously when I'm not chattering. But yeah, just enough, pretty enough without it being OTT. And often I didn't bother with lipstick because there was just no point because I was drinking a lot of coffee and eating, of course. Right, thank you for joining me and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye for now.